Hello and welcome to the Game Shed with me, Jamie, today having a look at the Evercade versus Founder Edition and how to sync a third-party wireless controller to it. As you know, if you've been following the news of the Evercade versus, it comes with a wired controller. It's not the best controller. I really don't actually like it. The wire feels very flimsy and also the wire is uh, inherently inhibiting i have to be sat a certain distance away and that's annoying and i've got tons and tons of wireless controllers everywhere so why can't i use them i can that is what i'm going to show you so this is um a retro bit saturn controller i love saturn controller this is the saturn mark ii controller a smoky gray colorful jobby and it comes with a wireless dongle so all we're going to do we're just going to pop this in to our machine and we're going to press and hold the sync button on top and it flashes and we're going to press and hold that on the controller and just like that two stationary lights mean we're synced so if we go up to the screen here sorry it's so sunny it's, uh, it's a very sunny day out there and uh, tons of snow so uh, ultra glare today anyway we're we're kind of synced as you can see we can navigate our way through however um, what you're going to want to do is navigate your way to the settings over here and uh, there you can do your mapping. So we go down to system and in system we can go to map controller and it's a very simple process. You just press and hold a button to select that controller and it says X input controller. Bosh, done. And then it shows you exactly what buttons you should press. Sorry, I just dropped my controller. So up on the D-pad, down on the D-pad, left, right, A, B, X, Y, and what's next? L1, so we only have a left shoulder button and a right shoulder button. So what happens when there's too many buttons? Well, no games that I'm aware of support L2 and R2, and this controller certainly doesn't have those buttons, so we can skip them simply by pressing and holding any button at all, and that goes red, and it skips it. So we're gonna do the same with R2 press and hold any button, it doesn't matter that I'm doing the right shoulder button, red, it's skipped. So now we want the start button, and we do have a start button on here, and the start button is this big pink one. Start and select button we have just here. So I'm gonna press that, and the home menu button, we're gonna press the home button on here. Job done, there we go, there's your mapping, done. So we're gonna save it with our A button, and we're gonna go back, and that is us synced. So we're gonna navigate up to the game cartridges and Bosh, let's just go quickly over to Burger Time. Now I'm currently in player two slot, so this isn't going to work immediately because um, it's a two player game and I'm, I'm triggering player two. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna swap out the controller a second, put it into player one slot as one would expect to do and it just lights up straight away and let's load in the game. In it goes. Eventually, there we go. And we're gonna press the select button to insert coins. And we're gonna just press start to initiate the game. And bosh, there you go, left and right. Oh, the, what's his name, Petey Pepper or something. Up we go, let's get this. Uh, uh, no, I'm gonna die already. Well, there you go, you get the point, that is how to sync a controller. I now have wireless controllers. So there are a couple of little quirks to note. Um, I have synced this before and it wouldn't navigate the menus. Uh, let me just press the home button so you can see that functionality working. And let's go to quick game. Um, yeah, I've, I've synced this before and when going into here, I wasn't able to navigate the games, uh, the D-pad wouldn't work. Um, I've also had it where I turn off the system and it loses um, its sync, synced ability, it, it didn't remember it. Um, but these things look like early doors quirks and hopefully they're all sorted out soon. Um, so it's as simple as that. I now have a wireless Evercade Versus and uh, I'm very happy about that. Um, so let me know if you've had any troubles and what quirks you've found. Um, but on the whole, a very good process, and this, definitely a lot nicer than this. So um, I do have more dongles, more controllers to try, who knows, maybe even the Xbox Elite controller, maybe a DualSense, DualShock. I'm going to try a load of them. If there's any controllers you want to see me try, I will um, pop them on and get going. If you found this video useful, 
do hit that like button and let me know in the comment section. So thank you very much guys and until the next time, I'll see you later.